What is going on guys, Mike here with Chit Chat Gaming. So first things first, be aware there is some uh, some construction going on outside my house here. So if you hear some loud banging and some power tools and so forth, just ignore it, but it should be okay here. So what I wanna talk about here today is nothing new. It's gotta deal with Walmart deals. So as everybody knows by now, a lot of times when you go back to Walmart, some Walmarts have this and some don't. A lot of times you go back there and they do have some like games marked down and such. You usually have games from like 1997 or they'll have like a whole selection of other ones that are marked down from like $60 to $40 or whatnot here. So a lot of times though those games sit and sit and sit forever. And I showed you guys a few videos back here. I picked up some other games as well too like Persona and such as well and got some pretty good deals on them. I got that Fortnite pack for like, it was like a Fortnite minty skin pack. Normally about like $30 I think it was, I ended up getting it for like 10 bucks. But again though, a lot of times you can run into some really really good deals and I did here this past weekend. Unfortunately, literally the guy that was in front of me pretty much snagged like all the games. Like he was just grabbing all the games so I only got a few, a few selection of games. But again though, I want to show you guys some of the games that you can look out for and just keep your eyes open at Walmarts because right now they are definitely slashing and roll backing a bunch of different games as well here too. But first things first, another great Walmart pickup here. It's a Walmart exclusive that I got, which I was really surprised to find. I was out yesterday looking for figures and so forth. Went to a few different Walmarts. Um, as I, a lot of you know, I collect AEW figures as well as many others, but I did get my hands on this Hangman Adam Page a Walmart exclusive. So again, this is a, like I said right here, a Walmart exclusive. Hangman Adam Page here with the AEW title back from dynamite he has the whole cowboy shirt on the cowboy boots and everything here as well he also has a beer mug a couple of beer mugs and so forth but some interchangeable hands a little shot glass but he does have the aew world title with him as well here too so i thought this time i thought this figure was actually really really unique looking so i did pick it up here um one of the other walmarts i had had the chris statlander um had um the best friends and a bunch of other ones as well here too so i didn't pick up all of them i'm kind of at that point right now where i'm only collecting certain aw figures i was literally collecting all of them but it just got to be too much um there's too much out there it, it's expensive they actually raise the price as well that's the biggest reason why this one here is actually only 19.99 but they have raised the price on aw figures to like 23 something at walmart so they used to be 19.99 now they're 23 something so yes it's only three four bucks whatever but still that adds up when you're adding, you know, when you're collecting a whole entire set as well here too. So again though, Hangman Adam Page, Walmart exclusive. This was the only one they had in stock. There's the back. This is the only one they had in stock. I think it was one like one per case. But again though, got my hands on it, had to pick it up. I'm glad it was only 20 bucks. So saved a few bucks there from getting one of the other ones. So let's get into the, some of the games I got. Nothing really spectacular guys. Nothing like it's gonna be mind blowing. Just some games I've always kind of had my eyes on here that I really want to pick up. The first one is Nerf Legends. Now this one here is originally like $39.99. I thought that was a little bit steep. I was like $40 for this game. I don't really know much about it. Um, game Mill is the entertainment. It's the ones who actually um, didn't develop They published it, which have done a lot of games like Mario Kart, or not Mario Kart, sorry, the Nickelodeon Kart Racers as well here too, and the G.I. Joe game that recently came out here that I actually liked and played and loved. So again though, I wanted to give this one a try because I'm a big, huge FPS fan, and obviously Nerf and FPS goes one and one goes hand in hand, and it sounded interesting. So I did play a little bit here. Again, but one thing is the biggest thing here is I actually got this game for $7. So it was originally, I believe, $39.99. They had it marked down to like $29.99, I saw the sticker. Then they had it marked down to $19.99, and then they had it marked down to $10, and now they have it down to $7. So I paid $7 for this game here. But I did go ahead and do some of the training. I did some of the missions as well here too. And yeah, it's not too bad. It's not great by any means. But again though, it's $7. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, of course, you know, the box is my Xbox, or the game is my Xbox. But yeah, $7, I wasn't going to pass up on that deal. So I went ahead and got this. The next one I got was a game that's been out for obviously some time. The reason why they're probably marking this one down, of course, is because 23 comes out here in just a few weeks. And that's gonna be NBA 2K. 22 now the biggest thing about this is is the uh the nba 75th anniversary edition here it includes both the uh the area the series x and of course the xbox one version as well as some other goodies in here so again this has the whole entire slip case and everything brand it's still obviously i haven't opened it up yet and i'm probably not gonna open it up and like why well, might i'll tell you why so this game is currently available on game pass but however 
as most of us know, most games come off a of Game Pass. So I don't think it's going to be on there much longer. It may even be off there by now. I'm not too sure. But again, no, I don't expect it to probably be on Game Pass for too much longer. But again, though, I always do this. I always look at it this way. A lot of these games on Game Pass most likely won't be there forever. So if you get the opportunity to still buy the game, definitely do it. Streets of Rage 4 was actually originally on Game Pass. It's not there no more. I own the game on Xbox and on Nintendo Switch. So again, it's always a good thing to own those games. But I actually ended up getting this game for five dollars so yes five bucks for a game that's probably originally i don't know the 75th anniversary edition it had to be pushing close to 76 or 80 or 70 or 80 bucks at least but i did see on the sticker that was on here it was marked down from like thirty dollars down to 20 down to 15 and down to 10 and i ended up getting it for five bucks so five dollars for a brand new nba 75th anniversary 2k22 game not bad at all. Again, these are not games that are just going to be like mind blowing or anything along those lines, but they're games that you just going to keep your eye out to add to your collection if you're, if you're a physical game collector. So, again, $5 for NBA 2K22. This last one here I want to show you guys. Obviously, I haven't opened yet as well, too. I don't really know much about, but I do play a lot of the Ghost. Um, the Ghost Recon games and stuff as well here too. I really, really love Rainbow Six and so forth. But again, Wildlands, etc. Um, this one here though is Breakpoint. So I never played Breakpoint. I think well, I lied. I played the beta. I think they had like an open beta at one time or something like that, or a closed beta, and it was okay. If I went ahead and I picked this one up. Now the reason why I picked this one up, guys, I did not break the bank on this one. This was literally a three dollar game. So they had this game marked down to three dollars. Originally a fifty nine ninety nine dollar game, a six dollar game, whatever you want to say. Marked down, I believe it was like down like thirty. There's it's kept going down, 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 down until eventually three dollars, guys. So three dollars for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I couldn't pass up on it. I had to go ahead and grab it. I was like, you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna pick it up. We're gonna play it and just see how it is. So went ahead and get it. So again, guys, Ghost Recon Breakpoint three dollars. So. Again, the biggest thing I want to kind of let you guys know, the whole take on this video is that, yes, keep your eye open because there's, first of all, Walmart is stocking the hell out of their toys as well, too. They're doing a complete remodel of their toy aisle, their action figure aisle. So there's a lot of stuff coming out in there. There's a lot of stuff coming out back in the Funko area and such as well, too, the NECA area. So keep your eye out on all those. But another big thing is to keep your eyes out on deals that are being slashed, prices that are being slashed, I should say back in the electronics here for video games right now is a great time to collect physical games because like i said a lot of these games are starting to go down and price has been sitting on the shelves forever or ones that are having brand new additions like 2k23 coming out as well here too so again guys let me know what you guys think down below do you guys pick up any great games or any kind of um great deals at walmart as well too on whether it's toys or video games electronics etc here so make sure you guys like the video if you choose to make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on that bell notification you'll be with all things that is chit chat gaming and as always guys happy gaming